Yes, yes. I love Jesus and I don't care who knows. Yes, yes, yes. I love Jesus and I don't care who knows. He's with me everywhere I be. On the land and on the sea. Yes, yes, yes. I love Jesus and I don't care who knows. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be reading Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. I've read the book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Seven. Let the Lord bless the hearers and the readers of His holy divine word. Amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Jayana. Jayana Cody. I'm gonna be doing a prayer, and and I'm gonna start now. Dear God in heaven, thank you for this day. Thank you for our youth meeting. Hope we learn something. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Turn it over to Nana, our teacher. Amen. 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 Goodbye. Thank you, <laughs> Anna. Good afternoon. Okay. My name is Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. And for our lesson today, we're going to talk about something you don't hear the ministers talk about. And I understand why. But I had a person who called me and asked me if I would do a session on this lesson. So I'm going to do my best with the Lord's help. So we're going to the book of Ezekiel. So we're asking if you need a pencil and your Bible to get it now, please. Then we're going to Ezekiel chapter 37. And there's no specific verse that I'm going to deal with. I'm just going to generalize a little bit. First thing I'm going to tell you about Ezekiel. Ezekiel was one of the major prophets. And Ezekiel is known as a prophetic book. And that means it's full of symbols and signs and things unless you research, you really won't know what they're talking about. But the main issue that I'm going to deal with today is dry bones. Dry bones. And in Ezekiel chapter 37, the dry bones represented all the Israelites, the household of faith. And they had been taken into captives by the Babylonians. They started worshiping idol gods and they turned their backs on God while they were there. And the bad thing, you know, God said, I'll have no other God before me. They would go to the temple, turn their back to the temple and pray to idol gods, which made God upset with them. So, in this chapter, God gives Ezekiel a vision about dry bones, which was scattered everywhere. And he took him there in a vision. And he set him in the midst of the dry bones in the valley. God asked Ezekiel a question. Can these bones live? Yes, and I can imagine Ezekiel standing in the midst, looking around with bones laying every which way when God asked him this question. And after he thought for a while, he says, Only you know, Lord, which was a great answer. Mm -hmm. And he said to himself, they lived once, but they dry now. Why are they dry? They're dry because of their wickedness. 
because of leaving God out of their lives. And when you don't have God in your life, you're not living. You're surviving. So he asked the question, can these bones live? And Ezekiel answered by doing what God said to do. And he made him eat the scroll. And after he ate the scroll, he says, this is sweet taste in my mouth, which let the Lord know he was willing to do his job. Mm -hmm. And God told him, you see these bones go prophesy to them. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine him saying, talk to these bones. Mm -hmm. And the Lord says, yes, prophesy to them. And as he began to prophesy to them, he heard a noise, a rattling and shaking, and he turned around and he looked. The bones were coming together. Mm. After the bones came together, sinews came up on the bone. Flush came on the bone. Wow. And skin covered the flush. Mm. And they were standing upright, but they couldn't move because they did not have any life in them. So the Lord told Ezekiel, prophesy to the wind, all four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. and have the wind come and breathe into them. And he prophesied to the wind, and the breath of God got into the bones, and they were alive and living. So the answer to the question, can these bones live? Yes, they can live. Yes. The word of God can bring life back to dry bones which is symbolic of people. So I'm going to tell you the way God's word come to us. Mm -hmm. We have no reason to be dry because God's word come to us in different ways. The first way it come to us through the ministers. Mm -hmm. They preach the word, what God told Ezekiel to do to those dry bones. In Titus 1, 3, it says, God hath in due times manifest his word through preaching. Mm -hmm. So if your bones are dry and you need to be revived or refreshed, go to God's house and listen to the word that the preacher has to say. The second way is to search the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Read it daily and make it a part of your life. Yes. Romans 15 verse 4 says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yes. Mm -hmm. The third way his word come to us is in a vision or a dream. Okay, okay. Acts 2.17 says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So dreams and visions have a meaning. Yes. And the last thing is, sometimes it come to you while you're praying. Mm. Isaiah 30, 19 and verse 21 says, he will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. And during prayer you will say, I understand, Lord. I accept what you're saying. And now I'm going to become a doer of your word. Mm -hmm. So if you're a preacher, preach the word. Yes. If you're a teacher, teach the word. And if you're a child of God, live the word. Yes. That Christ will be pleased with you. All right. Every one of us have a mission. Yes, yes. Stand up. And speak up for Christ. Yes, yes. Learn his word. So if you are asked the question. So if you're asked the question. Is there anyone that you think. The word of God can't bring back to life. 
someone you think you shouldn't talk to about Christ, you need to change your mind. Mm -hmm. It is Christ's desire that everyone should be saved. So these dry bones can live again. So keep your zeal and spread God's word yes. and help somebody who is living in the valley of dry bones. Oh, yes. Thank you.